Bleacher Report left off Stephen Curry plus Klay Thompson, along with Jason Tatum plus Jalen Brown, on their top five NBA duos list. So this video, I'm giving you a legitimate ranking and including 10 duos, so stay tuned to see the best one-two punch in the association. But right before that, make sure you go follow at dflowhoops on Instagram. I just started posting videos like the ones on your screen that I promise you can't miss. Again, that's at dflowhoops. You can simply click the link in the description and follow up for posts like those every day. The 10th best duo across the NBA is John ja Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr. The Memphis Grizzlies are the future of the West, which was displayed by them taking two games and putting a bit of a scare into the eventual champions. The Grizzlies won Game 5 of the Western Conference semifinals against Golden State by 39 points without Ja Morant, as they were led by Triple J's 21-8. and 8. Morant's first step and powerful finishing perfectly complements his elite stretch big at the 5 spot. In the post-Conley, Gasol, and Randolph era, the Memphis rebuild has been a big-time success, and the fourth overall pick from 2018 in Jaron Jackson Jr., plus the second overall pick from 2019 in John Morant, have everything to do with that. It's a good time to be a Grizzlies fan, because the team's full of young talent, which goes much deeper than just this duo. Only thing holding Memphis back is injuries, as Jackson Jr. is unfortunately going to be out for the next four to six months, plus Morant missed a ton of the playoffs. The number nine ranked duo is Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam. Don't forget the Raptors' two 20-plus point-per-game scores in 2021-22 were crucial pieces in Toronto's 2019 championship run. In 2022, Fred Van Vliet was injured for the majority of the playoffs and banged up when he did play, which had a big impact on the Raptors going down in the first round. Meanwhile, Pascal Siakam's post-up game continues to develop in his sixth career season, as Spicy P looked confident under pressure with his post fadeaway. Siakam was the second option next to Kawhi Leonard back when this team won the chip, and quite honestly, Pascal's growing stardom and marketability may be single-handedly making the claw regret leaving Toronto. Siakam's game perfectly complemented Kawhi's, and I thought that would make them one of the best duos in the NBA for many years to come. Luckily, the development of the undrafted Fred Van Vliet has given Toronto another elite one-two punch. Van Vliet and Siakam are still both 28 years of age and entering the prime of their careers. I expect even more from them in 2022-23. Number 8 best NBA pairing is DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine. The Chicago Bulls looked like top title contenders early, but as the season progressed, lost crucial defensive pieces to injuries like Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, Derek Jones Jr., and Patrick Williams. Getting those players back healthy while adding solid depth with the additions of former All-Stars Goran Dragic and Andre Drummond gives Debo and Zach a solid shot at being a top six seed in the East again. But the main factor making or breaking Chi Town success is Levine and DeMar's chemistry and consistency. Come the postseason, Bulls fans need to see the version of DeRozan that's hitting walk-off buzzer-beating game winners on back-to-back -back days, and they also need Zach Levine to be physically fresh. Overall, Zach and DeMar have the size, shot-creating ability, and athleticism to do something special for the historically great Bulls organization. Number 7 is Joel Embiid and James Harden. Harden gets a ton of hate, and while he's not the player he was in Houston, the Beard's still a top playmaker in basketball with his ability to draw gravity and find teammates at an extremely high rate. We've spoke a lot about injuries in this video, but if perennial MVP candidate Joel Embiid doesn't break his face and miss multiple games of the second round, who knows what would have happened for Philly. Luckily for Sixers Nation, Harden and Embiid are about to go through their first training camp together in a matter of weeks, Philadelphia should be a lot better next season after signing potentially the best wing defender in basketball, P.J. Tucker. Number 6 is Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. If only Kawhi didn't tear his ACL in 2021's postseason because the Clippers looked poised to win the title. Paul George still carried the Clips past the Utah Jazz in the second round, but before he got hurt, it was Leonard carrying and looking like the 2019 Toronto Raptor version of himself. If Kawhi doesn't go down and miss the rest of the playoffs and the next season, we could have been looking at the number one ranked duo. Number five is Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. One late release on a three-point attempt from Jimmy Butler is all that separated the Miami Heat from the NBA Finals. Jimmy Butler just had a monster playoff run, 
where he put the heat on his back by averaging 27.4 points, 7.4 boards, 4.6 dimes, and 2.1 steals per game. Bam Adebayo has a long way to go on polishing his skill down low in the post and making his jumper more consistent, but he's still one of the best centers in the NBA with his versatile ability to guard in drop coverage and protect the rim with his vertical jump. Butler and Bam are exceptional at knowing where each other are offensively at seemingly all times, as the Dade County pairing is a top pick and roll combination. Number four is LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It's been two years since LeBron's historic showing in the bubble and Anthony Davis playing like a legit second option. Since then, LeBron's been outstanding for his age, but to be completely honest, like it does to everyone else, father time is slowly but surely starting to catch up with the most dominant player of this generation. It's why the GM's been desperately attempting to get back Kyrie Irving by shipping Russ to Brooklyn. Don't get me wrong, LeBron's still one hell of a player, definitely top three to five in terms of right now, maybe the best all time. Stop it. Get some help. But the real reason James and Davis rank this low is because of AD, aka street clothes, constantly getting hurt. Anthony needs to stay on the court if the LA Lakers 1-2 punch is going to rank any higher in 2022-23. We know Davis is debatably the most well-rounded big man in all of the NBA when he's healthy, but the man's almost never at full strength. Number three is Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. The iconic Splash Brothers secured their first title together in four years and their fourth in total in 2022, building upon their all-time great legacy. Speaking of which, if we were ranking all-time duos, Curry and Thompson would rank number one, and there's certainly an argument to be made that they could be number one on today's list. They've revolutionized the game with their deep-range shooting from anywhere at any time. Despite both Steph and Clay approaching their mid-30s, the Dubs duo showed why they've been so influential on modern basketball by celebrating the addition of their eighth combined championship ring. This comparison of Michael Jordan's first four finals games in 1991 and Curry's in 2022 summarize how generationally great Steph was against Boston. If we were strictly ranking the best players right now, Curry would have a solid case to be number one. Number two, Giannis Adetokounmpo and Chris Middleton. Giannis and Middleton weren't intact during this year's postseason, and if they were, they'd most likely rank number one. But even Bucks fans know that the NBA is a grueling competition like any other sport, which sees the last team standing physically come out on top. The Bucks played who were in front of them during their 2021 championship effort and deserve every credit for getting their ring. But it's for that very reason that the Celtics deserve some credit for taking down the reigning champs in seven games. Nevertheless, the two-time MVP and finals MVP Giannis Adetokounmpo is undoubtedly the most dominant slasher in the history of the NBA with his long strides, wingspan, and shocking explosiveness. Andre Iguodala saying Rashid Wallace would be better than him if she'd played today is ridiculous. Adetokounmpo's like no other player in league history with his combination of ball handling, size, and explosiveness. Pair Giannis next to an absolute flame-throwing three-time All-Star Chris Middleton, who's averaged over 20 points in four different seasons, and who Kendrick Perkins argues is the Batman of Milwaukee, and the Bucks' one-two punch is damn tough to defend. Before number one, honorable mention to Chris Paul and Devin Booker, who didn't qualify for the list because I wanted to give them some motivation after their embarrassing collapse in Game 7 of Round 2, where they were at one point down by around 50 points. You could say that's recency bias, considering Phoenix did win a staggering record 64 games in the regular season, but the playoffs is all that matters, and the Suns roster and fan base have learned that lesson the hard way. So it was hard to talk about those two positively, which is why they weren't on the list. Second honorable mention goes to Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. Murray's extremely underrated, and considering the Blue Arrows returning after missing all of last season, Denver's duo could have easily been here. Third honorable mention goes to Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson. These two have yet to make a playoff appearance together, and after Zion missed a season, they were the duo I had to leave out. The number one ranked duo is Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Yes, they were the two top-ranked players in total turnovers during the playoffs. Yes, they faced a Milwaukee team without Chris Middleton. But the bottom line is, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown 
carried the Celtics to the 2022 NBA Finals, where they came up two wins short of the chip. Between the two of them, the Jays have now made at least three conference finals appearances in their very young careers. With a bolstered Celtic roster around them, which we broke down in yesterday's video, Jason and Jalen have a great chance to finish their business in 2023. While the Bucks have an all-star caliber third option in Drew Holiday, conversely, it's really all on Tatum and Brown to do the majority of the damage for the Celts offense. These two combined to average 48.7 points per game, they each took at least 6.7 three-point attempts per night, and made around 40% of those attempts in 2022's playoffs. It's the complete three-level scoring from two of the world's best wing players, which earns them the label as the NBA's best duo. Who's the best duo in your opinion? Two comment or shoutouts next video. Leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you haven't already. DFlow signing off.